say something. Well, she's Rona's best friend. Should they be burning? Is uh, Rona about? More flat hunting with Pierce, why? He's moving. Not far. Likes it round here, apparently. After everything that's happened? It's none of my business. He's only doing this to keep an eye on us. Well, unless you've got something to hide, what's the problem? Rakesh has just found out that he's being bought out by his firm to make way for Pierce. For Pierce? Are you sure? Positive. He's got his feet under the table at Kieran's dad's firm. He's staying in Paddy's wife's house. Does Rona know about this job? Because if she doesn't, maybe she should. Yeah, thanks. Got the postcode? Wake up. Sorry. I was thinking about work. Oh, you nervous? A bit. Yeah, there might be some, um, repercussions. From who? Competition. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. had to go in pretty hard, you know, to secure it. Well, it's dog-eat-dog, isn't it? <clears throat> I know a bit about that. Dog-eat-cat, cat-eat-hamster. We're gonna see this flat then, or what? Seeing as you're so desperate to abandon us. <laughs> Book reminded me what I have to say to the committee. Check. Paper reminding me where I have to go. Check. Note reminding me where I've put the book and the paper. That was a joke. Oh. <laughs> I'm afraid this has developed a rather macabre sense of humour. You'll get used to it. I do hope they'll say yes. How could they refuse a kindly curate bravely battling dementia? Besides, why should they care what we call our village hall? Now, are you sure you'll be OK? Oh, for crying out loud, man. I'm not the one carrying bits of paper in all his pockets. I'll be all right. And I have the delicious Pearl's company. I'll say goodbye, then. Do. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> I bought these tickets for the Four Seasons. The Vivaldi, not the pizza. Uh, wasn't that Edna's favourite? And uh, since she is unable to take advantage of them, I wondered what you were planning this evening. Oh, Sandy, that's so kind of you, but I'm off to see Lily and I'm leaving this afternoon. Uh, how long for? I don't know yet, a few weeks. I mean, Lily's struggling at the moment. I'm sorry if I've spoilt your plans. Oh, don't be sorry. I'm quite sure I shall find another music enthusiast to keep me company. <laughs> hey. hey. Dad, I said I'd be fine getting a taxi. Why? Well, I can drop you off and pick you up after your, um... Key mod. I was about to say when you're ready. I'll get our coats. Hey, aren't you supposed to be at school? Well, they said I could work from home today. I'll do it at the hospital while Dad's. Key mod. Can you stop saying that? Right, go on. He'll catch you up. Right. <clears throat> Bye. Look, it's OK to be nervous, right? It does feel pretty weird. Down there. No. I mean, waking up, feeling fine, and then deliberately pumping myself full of poison to make me better. I don't get it. What is an executor, anyway? It means I have to organise everyone getting their money. Why didn't you say anything before? Because I only found out yesterday and you had enough on your plate. I didn't realise they wanted me to organise the flipping funeral as well. You're not going to do it, are you? A funeral? No. But the other thing, I don't really get a choice over. Can't I just chuck them in the river or something? Oh. I've told you I'm not taking any of the money. You can keep it or burn it. I don't really care. I'm going to school. You both know why she said that, right? Shall I go? No, he's going. Not until you've heard me out. Why, what are you, you going to do? You're going to um, talk me around again? Is that what it was? Look, you're wrong about what you think you heard yesterday. Oh, man. I'm not apologising for looking out for you. So go ahead, cut your nose off to spite your face. But you know what I hate seeing? Is Liv about to cut hers off as well just to keep you company. And he reckons I'm the selfish one.
What are you looking for? Something not boring. Well, what about your own work? That might not be boring. Here. I'm not raiding your chemo pack before you've even used it. Hey, mate. David. Hi. Um, Jacob. This is Dylan. Dylan Testicular. Let's stick to first names. <laughs> Dylan's been having chemo and all. <sighs> right, that wasn't boring enough. Got an infection now, so... Can't even do that. Boring? Yeah, it's the bit they don't warn you about. Brought your entertainment to see. Good move. Um, <laughs> mate, go get us a couple of coffees from the machine out there, will you? Yeah, yeah. How do you know they weren't bored before they got here? <laughs> See all them cards? They're from the people who are through this and out the other side. See how small the writing is? There's not enough room for all the, all the good stuff they want to say. So, hang on. The colours are too trendy. You didn't like the brand new expensive kitchen because it was what? Antiseptic? And what was it you said about the front room? Business class airport lounge. Oh, well, I wouldn't know about that. No, neither would I. It's how I'd imagine one to be. Just the whole place felt a bit too... Yeah, perfect. I think you could do better, that's all. Do you know what? Anybody would think you don't want me to move out. Well, don't kid yourself. I can't wait to get rid of you. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hello? There's nothing wrong. Just. Yep, yeah, I'll be right over. Bye. It's Pearl. I said I'd to go through the books with her before she goes. Yeah. Sorry. Rona. So that's the stuff. It's up his side. Gin. And then afterwards, we start the cis platting. Tonic. Double check you filled it with the right stuff. Triple check. I think it's past Nurse Hastings. <coughs> <coughs> Trust me. You should be resting. When I'm better, I'm going to take her away from all this. We're going to sun ourselves on my private island in the Caribbean. Isn't that right? Can't wait. <laughs> now, you might feel a little sick afterwards, but most people tolerate the first session well. We'll give you some anti-sickness pills before you go anyway. What about his hair? Nobody actually loses their hair. It turns ginger, so you have to shave it off. <laughs> you also me, I look stupid anyway. It's good stuff, mate. Your dad's one of the lucky ones. You just gotta get down to business, you know? Vom a bit, put it on and walk away. Yeah. Sounds like a doddle. No. But there's people round here who so with you in a heartbeat, Mr. Stage Two. What are you doing? Oh, ringing my mobile. I can't find it. Oh. Uh, listen, I wanted to talk to you. Me first. I've been trying to get hold of you all morning. This is so stupid, but um, I think I might have almost let Pierce kiss me. Pierce kissed you? Almost. What he tried though. I was saved by the bell. OK, right, you've got to listen to me. You know, and even though nothing happened, it, it still feels like it, it counts. Rona, um, <clears throat> it's Pierce. I think it's possible he's not who he seems. What? Well, who is he then? His new job. It's at Rakesh's old firm. Pierce came barreling in, and now Rakesh is out on his ear. Maybe it's just a... What, a coincidence? OK, his wife has an affair with your husband. Dies in an accident caused by Rakesh's son. Now he's sitting at Rakesh's desk and sleeping in your house. I just think you need to start being very, very careful. Take these if you start feeling sick. But you might not need them. I feel fine. And I'm free to go. Whenever you're ready. 
Owen's got loads of cheat codes he's gonna send me. Turns out we're both thief addicts. Really? And your homework, how did that go? Um, I'ma head out to the car park and wait for Grandad. Yeah. Mate, thanks. Sticking round. Actually, I've got a bit of a thing for Nurse Hastings. I know what it is. <laughs> but seriously, um, despite appearances, I was pretty stressed. Never. <laughs> <laughs> and when I get worried, Jacob gets worried. Forget it. You, you do know it's going to get worse, though. Yeah, of course I do. But I feel like I can face it now. What about you? I'll be all right. Be this infection in time to get wrecked at prom. <laughs> then beat the cancer. Simples. I've been keeping out of your way. I've only just thought it's if, if I'm not hungry. I've spoiled things, haven't I? I'm sorry. Why didn't you tell me you joined Rakesh's old law firm? Didn't seem relevant. Are you worried that he's been unfairly treated? Come on. It was the perfect place for me. I don't understand. He deserves it. And when you were about to kiss me, is that because Paddy deserves it? No. Vanessa's still not picking up her phone. What? You're gonna blow it. Are you acting like you've got something to hide? I have got something to hide. Right, well then deal with that first. And sending Kieran money directly from your account, well, that's just stupid. Thanks. Unless you have a better idea. I have. Set up a new account for Johnny. Like, say it's for his future university fund, whatever. Then give Kieran access. That way, to the outside world, you're putting money aside for your grandson. And tell Vanessa. Well, you'll need Johnny's birth certificate and probably a signature, so yeah, you'll have to. But only tell Vanessa what she needs to know. I don't like fighting with you. I'm not exactly thrilled at being taken for a fool, again. You let me trust you. In case you hadn't noticed, trust is a bit of a dwindling asset around here. I should have told you about the job from the beginning. But, um, it, it was never clear cut. Uh, having Rakesh as collateral damage. It sweetened the deal. But, like I say, this is the right place for me. I need a new start. And it's close to the village. And I've got a good friend here. You do realise how this looks, don't you? Like you're here to use me in some kind of weird vendetta. <laughs> Vanessa's frightened for me. Well, as in, Vanessa told you about this. Well, so, her and Rikesh, they, they must have been talking about Do you me. never stop? Normally those two can't stand each other, but because of how you're acting, they got over it to warn me. So, what do I need to do to make things right? Because, crazy as it seems, you're the only friend that I can really talk to. Well, that's very touching. But no matter how you try and spin this, it was always mad. You're gonna have to leave, Piers. Sorry, but I need you to go. It was massive! Every tree house I've ever been in just had a trap on loads of spiders. Have you got homework to do? Go get used to spiders. Couldn't you pretend that your bedroom's a tree house? If you pretend I've done my homework. <laughs> Touché, Arthur! <laughs> Ha <laughs>
<laughs> How did your meeting go? Oh, very well, very well. Um, I managed to remember why I was there. And there were no objections to renaming the village hall, so it looks as if Edna's going to be immortalised after all. Uh, How was your day? Oh, I laid low. Very peaceful. Well, I'll leave you to it. Arthur, homework! Come on, give us a go. I'm using it. I thought it said only click on that if you're over 18. Get lost. I'm not looking at anything, honest. You know, you could just go out and buy your own, don't you? If you say you need it for school, you just dip into the trust fund. I don't want it that bad. Have you thought about all this? What if you change your mind? Not if you do. I'm not talking about me. And anyway, I've got the business. In ten years, it'll be bigger, it'll be making more money. Or I'll have sold it, I'll have something in the bank. But you, you'll be in your twenties. Rent's going up, wages aren't great for someone without brilliant grades. He's calling you stupid. Why don't you go and do that in your room? I'm not going to worry about being old. What, your 20s? They'll come around sooner than you think, trust me. Well, I could just work for you. Dream on, you won't make it through the interview. No, but seriously, Liv, you could do a lot better than that. Especially with a bit of money behind you. You really want me to have it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I do. At least this way something good comes out of everything that we've been through. Uh, a little bit tired. But to be honest with you, I've had worse afternoons at Ellen Road. Proud of you. Ended up getting looked after by a couple of teenagers. Ah, here he is. Oh, Chinese. King prawns in Mandarin. Only my favourite. Got your pineapple fried rice and all. Bought for with his own money wouldn't accept a penny. Crispy squid. Why don't you go and get that lot on the table before it gets cold and uh, we'll lock up here, eh? It's Dylan. He sent me a load of cheat codes. Yeah, well, let's take us to the back before it gets cold. See you in a moment. Are you really all right? Yeah, I really am. If it was me, I probably wouldn't have chosen pineapple fried rice, but I don't <laughs> want to disappoint him. He's been brilliant. Who's, uh, who's this Dylan? Uh, the young kid that I was telling you about, I met before. He hung around, chatted FIFA with Jerky, and joked his way through everything. Mm. Made me think about what I said to you this morning. A bit embarrassed, really. David. No, I am. Because he's got it much worse than me. And he just seems so determined. Grateful for the chance to live. Seems crazy, but I think I might be one of the lucky ones. I should give you these. Thanks for everything and hope we can still be friends. I'm sorry I let you down. You don't owe me anything, Pierce. I just hate you thinking badly of me. I really don't want to think about you at all. Something tells me your friend doesn't like you talking to me. Well, maybe she's wondering if she's on your hit list as well. Is she? That's no hit list. I never has been. Well, your plan, then, your mission, whatever you want to call it. Mission accomplished. There's nothing to know. I hope things work out for you. Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. Um, Liv's changed her mind. She's having the money. Well, I haven't said anything. No, no, you didn't. I did. You were right. Did he just say what I thought he just said? She was worried how I was going to react, so I gave her a push. Not that it took much of a one, to be honest. Right, I'll leave you two boys to it. <clears throat> You. 
by me. What would make you change your mind about taking what's yours? Nothing. You're right about Liv, don't you? You're right about me. Carly won't mind babysitting Johnny a bit longer if you'd rather go into town or something. I don't think I'd be very good company. <laughs> Who needs good company when you've got loud music and a bucket full of cider and black? <laughs> and don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. Well, attractive though that offer is, I think I'll pass. Mm, suit yourself. Cup of tea, and a cuddle with Johnny wouldn't go and miss, though. Oh, so rock and roll. Why do I feel so rubbish? <sighs> because you're fragile at the moment. This was the last thing that you needed. Come on. seeing Pierce in the village. How long is he going to be hanging around? Didn't you speak to Rona? Look, we need to talk. Call me when you get this. On the hunt for supersized piranhas, Jeremy Wade's looking for river monsters next. As a massive shock for the entire team tonight with the gripping conclusion to Marcella. It's the second in our two-part finale at nine. And if you missed the penultimate episode last night, there's still time to catch up on the ITV Hub.